going to be the first time at a playground since March, and I'm so excited for them because it's been really hard not being able to go to any playgrounds. We're in Crescent City, California, which is up almost into Oregon, and it's a smallish beach town, and uh, I'm just really excited that the girls get to play at a playground. There's three things that's making this extra special for us. One, it's the first playground we've seen that's open. Two, there's nobody here, so we feel okay about being here. And three, it's an especially awesome playground. It's all wood and there's all these cool structures. I gotta get maple. <laughs> We had the whole place to ourselves for about 20 minutes, but then a couple other families started to show up. I think three families came in all at once and we kind of panicked because we're just, we're not ready for that kind of thing. And it was enough just going to a playground, let alone going to a playground where there might be other people. So we got out of there really quick, <laughs> but it was worth it. And the kids had so much fun and they got a little taste of it. So hopefully we'll be able to come back while we're here in Crescent City and we'll try to come when there's no one else here even if it's just for little increments at a time it's it was awesome it was really fun <laughs> the best day ever but it's lucky and so fun that we got to go to a playground during the pandemic and I feel lucky because we're in a special place where not that many people are where the playground's open where we had hand sanitizer to wash right after but you definitely have to listen to mama and papa when we go to public places like this when we're around other people because we have to we have to protect you. We don't want our family to get sick. Okay? Love you. full of goodness. Got a coffee and an olive. <laughs> olive, coffee. Olive, coffee. <laughs> One thing I've noticed about Crescent City is it seems like there might be a lot of free camping opportunities here because as we're driving around and walking around I'm seeing RVs parked in parking lots or at the end of roads or on the coast or down a dirt road. Like I've seen a lot of people just boondocking, dry camping in and around town. And that's kind of cool. That's good to know. The ocean's beautiful here, isn't it? Yeah, and the weather is so nice. It's not cold, it's not hot, it's a little bit foggy. It reminds me of Monterey, San Francisco type of climate. It's just so nice and it seems like this town is kind of an undiscovered gem. I mean, living on the coast in California is really hard to do. Up here, it's less populated. Maybe people don't know about it up here. Makes me want to live here. But it is in a tsunami zone. There's signs all over town saying tsunami zone and tsunami escape route that way. We came back to the playground. This is the playground we played at last night. We were so excited there was an open playground and no one there. And now we came back and there's a sign saying it's closed. So we're gonna keep walking and maybe we'll just go play in the ocean instead. So now the playground's closed and it's full of people. <laughs> so, so there's two reasons not to play at the playground today, where yesterday it was open and empty. So we, we got really lucky, but we can go see some other things. We're right on the coast and we can go play in the low tide and we can do some other really fun things. Oh yeah, the low tide. It's yeah. low tide right now. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what do you want to see? The ocean getting bigger. The tide. This morning when we walked to the playground, the tide was completely out. And you could see for miles because it was low tide. But right now the tide's starting to come back in. Do you want to see, Linden? Yeah. We see sand and seaweed and a foot. Come over here with us. One. Two. You know, you're the kid too. <laughs> well, we woke up and went to see the ocean and the tide is really low. So the ocean's way far out there and it's just a really, really long 
deep shoreline now. That drip is getting faster. So the connection for the city water is getting a little bit leaky and it used to just be dripping really slowly but now it's starting to get faster. One thing that I'm always working on is trying to simplify our RV operation. RVs have a lot of systems so I spend a lot of time thinking about ways to simplify each of those systems. Our Airstream Classic is the upgraded model that has 50 amp service and the main reason it has 50 amp service is to support dual air conditioners. We try to follow the seasons as much as possible so that we get the best weather. If we're in a place that we need two air conditioners, it's not a place that we want to really stay for very long. So in terms of hookups, the main difference between having 30 amp and 50 amp is that with 50 amp you have to have this heavy duty cord all the way from the hookups to the RV. There's a birdie. There's birdies. Are you two today? No. Olive's two. It's Olive's birthday, so we woke up and we're all making French toast together. What are we making, Olive? Loud bread. Loud bread? <laughs> yeah. French toast is what it's called. French toast? You mean the loud bread is called? She gave the bread a bath, and then we stick it over here to have a hot stone massage. You put eggs in a hole, and then you uh, put them. Um, can I make that? Can I make mine? First, you put eggs in a bowl, and then you eat a raspberry, and then you forget what you're doing. Mmm, <laughs> I wish you could smell it through the camera. Yeah, it looks great. Did you have a raspberry puppet? right now so the water is way 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 out there we came to the beach from our our airstreams right over that ridge right there so we came out to frolic around and play on the shore but it's interesting because the ground is kind of sinky like if you take a step and you don't move your foot sinks down so the secret is to keep moving if you stop for a minute your foot will kind of sink down which mine are doing right now and the kids are just running around. I think there might be little crabs because we see little holes and lots of like snap, crackle, pop sounds. People so they're running around trying crab. to find stuff. What? People crab in Europe, said crab. Jinx. So it's Olive's birthday and I'm trying to let Olive do pretty much anything she wants to do today. So I let Olive wear her prettiest dress because she loves pretty dresses and her prettiest white sweater <laughs> to the beach Mom, and she's getting I have, filthy. Well, I have a bad but it's her birthday, so she can do what she wants. She doesn't understand that she's two. She keeps insisting that she's one, because she's been one this whole time, as far as she's concerned. How old are you, Olive? You're two! I'm two, Mom. You're two! I'm two, Mom. Tell Papa! I'm two. So we're trying to explain that. Maybe tonight when we have the cake, she'll, she'll finally understand that today she's two. Do you know what day it is? It's Olive's birthday. My birthday. Yeah. 
Wasn't Ella born like a few minutes after midnight? Because with Maple, she was born like a few minutes before, before midnight. Before, so we got an extra hospital day. But not with, with Maple. With Not with Maple? No, Maple, you got ripped off. Your uh, day was used up. Yeah, with that four minutes or something. Yeah. Depends whether you're born before or after midnight. That counts as a day or that doesn't count as a day at the hospital. You get two nights. Yeah, you get two nights at the hospital. So our plans for the day are to just hang out on this beach, let the kids get as dirty and sandy and wet and cold as they want, and then we'll head back to the Airstream and stick everyone in the shower. Get all warm and toasty and maybe watch a movie together. So the idea for the day is just to give the girls the most fun day possible. And maybe for dinner we'll get uh, tacos takeout and then we have a cake. I'm whispering it so they don't hear. We have a cake for Olive in the freezer. So she'll get to blow out a candle and celebrate her birthday. I'm a tiger. That's she say, Mom. You're upside down like yeah. Silly Sally. Daddy, daddy, daddy. <laughs> Papa, come look at the dead bird. Mom, how did he get dead? Let's stay away from that, Lyndon. I wonder why there's so many dead birds. Like, how did they die? Well, it seems like maybe they died out at sea and then got washed up here. But I've seen probably five bird carcasses up here. I'm wondering how they died and, and what the story is. You guys found a bug. You want to go on my finger? See it? It's pretty cute. You look happy. It's my pet. His name is Guru Gobble. It's a good name, Maple. Careful, don't throw sand because it could get in Olive's eyes. The sun will get in his eyes too. Are you protecting your bug? Yeah. You can't bring him in the airstream. Why? Because, Mom, can Mabel bring a bug in the airstream? No, no bugs in the airstream. Oh. Why? But she's my pet. Yeah, well, sometimes pets live outside. Grandma's pet was inside. Yeah, that's true. Grandma's that's pet? Lux. Yeah. Mommy. Mabel found a way. Mabel. It's like, well, Grandma's pet was inside. <laughs> Olive, do you want to take a bath? Yeah. I think everybody's going to be happy. What did you get, Mama? Uncle Harry's premium ice cream cake. <gasps> wow. Everyone go to the couch. All girls go to the couch. It's vanilla. You're so nice, Mom. You got vanilla for me. Vanilla. Ready to sing, guys? Yeah. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Good job. Yay. 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 I hope the smoke alarm doesn't go off. Look, it's right above. <laughs> oh. <laughs> happy, happy birthday, beautiful. Hey. I'm sitting next to Olive because Olive's half his birthday. I'm sitting next to Olive too because um Olive's birthday. No birthday is uh, Grandma's house. Yeah, you remember. Uh, Olive gets to blow out the candle. Olive gets a balloon and Olive gets a present. On your birthday, you'll get a balloon and a present. And on your birthday, you'll get a balloon and a present. Can I have a balloon, please? Coming out. <laughs>
What are you going to do with them? We're just going to make a lunch out of them, pretend lunch. Pretend? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's really calming to be in the middle of all these redwoods, but I think it's because you're standing here and you're surrounded by all these trees that are so huge and so old. They've been here longer, so much longer than I can even fathom, you know, considering the span of our lifetimes. And they'll continue to be here for so much longer than we'll be around. It's just, it's very, it's humbling is what it is. It reminds you how fleeting life is and how we just have to enjoy every moment. And that's exactly what we're doing here. We're just enjoying every moment we can with the girls and, and just soaking them up while they're still young. And that's why we're doing this. Of course, there's ups and downs. Not every day is, is magic and unicorns and butterflies, but, but right this moment it is. <laughs> what? She stepped on the plant and it said, ouch. Did you hear it say that? Yeah. Oh, it's a talking plant. Can you say I sorry you. plant? I love you, everybody. I love you too. I love you three. Wow, ah. you're blowing hearts at us. Spider's gonna tickle you.